Yo, what is up everyone, Gamebreaker guy here. So in today's video, I am bringing you guys my build, the Flash build. My character is insanely fast. The minute he absorbs a Merida, it's like he's on steroids or drugs. And you know how <laughs> performance enhancement drugs are used in Olympics? Well, this guy is constantly on that. He's constantly using that. Basically, the moment you engage in battle and you absorb a Merida, or even whenever you use one of those, you know, crystals to give you a Merida, you are pretty much the speed of light. Anyway, let me show you. You all set? Let's go. Seventeen seconds. This guy is fast. All right, he's definitely on drugs. Okay. Um, all right, guys. This is the first time I'm doing one of these videos, so just bear with me um, if I do make any mistakes. Plus, I'm new to Neo. I'm kind of new to Neo because I never played number one. I played number one for like you know a few days with my friend, and then I stopped because you know I, I had played the beta for number two, and I was so used to Neo number two that I didn't want to play number one anymore. So here I am. Anyway, let's get into this. The first thing you guys gonna want to do is get the flying Cato set. The flying Cato set you can get get it from him himself, Cato. Um, he's one of the dojo masters, and he trains you on becoming a ninja. You know, on how to become a ninja. So, if you get your proficiency on ninja, I mean ninjutsu, really high, you'll eventually get to fight Cato. So, whenever you start fighting Cato, just farm him until you get the smitting text for his, you know, for his set, and then. All you're gonna want to do is go to the blacksmith and make it. Make sure you forge it. And if you don't want to forge anything at all, you don't want to farm anything at all, that's cool. Just fight Kato until you get either the legendary version of this gear or if you're in New Game Plus. Actually, let me just say that again. If you are doing the, the game for the first time, if you're playing this game as if you just started now, and you want to get this set right now, that's cool. You can get the legendary version of this set depending on what mission or what level you are with your ninjutsu. So if you're a veteran in ninjutsu or even adept, you can then fight Kato um, until you get the legendary version of this I mean of this set. And then once you get that, the whole set, like you know, the, the mask, the robes, and the waist guard, the greaves and the gauntlets. Um, which I will talk about later in about a few seconds just until I get to that point. But um, you want to get the whole thing, as well as the Swift Hawk. Swift Hawk is his blade. I've just modified it to look like the Ishin version, but Swift Hawk is his blade. And I think it took me quite a while to get Swift Hawk because I had to forge this blade. The reason why I had to forge the blade was because I needed a piece called Omni's Bird's Beak, and I couldn't get it from anything until I did a few missions, you know further down the storyline and um, yeah eventually so I like the the piece was there and then I just forged the blade itself so yeah just make sure you get the whole set and then you're ready for the next step all right so at this point I am hoping you guys are fully aware that you need to make sure you know exactly what weapons you want to use I know that there's book of reincarnation which you can always change your build and your stats whenever you want but at a cost and books books of reincarnation are very very expensive the more you use them the more expensive they get so make sure you know exactly what build you want do not constantly change your build because you will eventually find yourself spending millions if not trillions trying to buy a book of reincarnation so i emphasize guys make sure you know exactly what weapons you want to use first before you copy this one okay i am just doing this for the swords masters if you're a spear user ignore this build completely. I appreciate you trying to watch the video to give me the views and all that stuff, but just just ignore it. It's not for you. But if you're a swords master like myself and you know you want to be like the Flash, then you're in the right place. Anyway, stay with me. So right now I'm going to be speaking about the special effects for my weapons. Uh, we're going to be starting with Swift Hawk. So as you know, it's part of the Flying Cattle set. Therefore, I'm going to be equipping it to give me the 
max amount of set bonuses I, as I can get for the flying cattle anyway. For me, this is the perfect set because every time I use a ninjutsu, I get key recovery speed. So I do not need the barrier. You know how everyone uses Omni Magic to like help them recover key fast? Well, I don't need to use Omni Magic because my gear is so light, therefore I already recover key really fast. On top of that, every time I use a ninjutsu, my key regenerates mega fast. When I say mega fast, take a look. That right there guys was the Flying Kato set. Every time you use a ninjutsu, you get faster key recovery. Literally every time. And guess what kind of ninjutsu I use? Shurikens. This is why, again, I do tutorials on my channel on how to do shuriken cancels. And if you do not know what shuriken cancels are, make sure you check any of my tutorials already out on the playlist for Neo 2. Go right ahead and check that out. If you like, it'll be on the links in the description down below. So as for my special effects guys, I have imbue fire in my weapon because you know I like to burn my enemies regardless whether they're weak against fire or you know immune to fire, I don't care. I will burn them, I'll find a way to burn them. I just wanted fire in my weapon. I like fire, so give me fire. Um, and then for my secondary weapon, I have imbue lightning. And I will get to that in a minute. But for now, as you can see on my weapon, if you have an element that, um, for example, I have fire. If you have that fire element in your weapon, you want to get accumulation of burn or burn accumulation onto that weapon too. And then as for your accessories, which I will get later on, you'll see that I have uh, shock accumulation, which I like shock the most. I use my secondary when I'm close up to my opponent. So you will realize that as soon as I get close to my opponent, I start to switch to my dual blades and my dual blades is my damage go-to because it deals quick damage really fast and I like quick fighting anyway so as soon as I get on your face I'll be switching to my dual blades and pretty much wreck you that's how I play it that's my play style and um, because they're so fast and you have really amazing counters for when people hit your guard and your block which I already said make sure you check the tutorials guys because I have both tutorials out there already the uh, the blades and the dual blades already out there for you guys to watch. I am no expert in Neo, but when it comes to combos, that's I'm your guy. Trust me, you do not want to miss out. Check them tutorials out. Anyway, you want to get uh, both the elements that you want. So you, if you want fire, make sure you have fire in your weapon, and then just you know add burn accumulation to it. And if you had lightning in your weapon, then you'd add shock accumulation. If it's poison, you wanna add poison accumulation. Do you get what I'm saying, guys? You get the picture. And then as for the rest, since I use skills to kind of like, you know, set uh, a trap for my enemy. So like, I like to use sort of key to like um, break my enemy's guard if they're blocking too much. So what I did, I imbued 20% uh, key damage on my sword of key every time I use the L1 triangle on high stance on my key and what it does it does like a key explosion and then my enemy if they are blocking it pretty much wrecks their guard it wrecks their guard really bad and they're they're literally on the floor so what I did I added active skill break which means the sword of key plus the 20% I have already on the custom skills that I added remember as I said earlier um, so if they block that they will take tons of key damage which means they will probably lose all their guard maybe not all of it but i'm exaggerating um they'll they'll lose a lot and then i also have life drain or melee attack which means if i'm kind of like dying and i need to heal i won't need to like use uh what do you call that thing elixir straight away i can still fight and find a way to then like close in the gap where i don't know maybe set my opponent apart and then just quickly drop in an elixir if i need to but remember that if you have um, this life drain or melee attack or quick attack life drain, then you will not need to be using elixir all the time. You can still like find a way to just add a few hits in and you'll eventually just recover all the health that you, you lost during the fight. So it's really useful to have. These, this build really works for me because I know how to combo without the enemy being able to, to block my attacks. 
um, which means I'll constantly re regenerate health anyway. You've seen my combos, and if you haven't seen my latest video in my combo video for Neo, then let me give you a teaser. <laughs> That's the build I'm using right there guys. This build that I'm showing you right here, that's the same thing I'm using right there except I'm using level 1 weapons to do less damage so I don't kill them straight away, you know? I wanted to do some combos on them, get a few, you know, a few stylish hits on them before I kill them. So yeah, so you guys are gonna want to get something close to this, you know, if you have something similar then you're okay, just make sure you have an element and if you don't have an element then that's fine. Um, just anything similar to this or something that you're happy with then you're okay move on to the next blade so for my secondary weapon I actually use the dual blades and again I have uh, attack bonus on skill because you know skill is my highest stat so you want to find something that says attack bonus to your highest stat equivalent to your stat okay that's the only thing that you have to follow to get really high attack power on your weapons so my attack power on this specific weapon which is whether bone bleach and twig is almost 2000 and eventually when it gets to 10 plus 10 it'll probably be like 2000 something um and as for my secondary secondary weapon which i use which is uh, a multitude of hopes is for when i'm like in dire or critical condition when my character is literally about to die um i start to get automatically automatic uh life regen so that's really good and really handy for when I run out of like, you know, elixirs or anything like that, which never happens because, you know, I'm not that, I'm not that, I'm, I'm not that bad of the game, okay? <laughs> Don't just die all the time like that. But point is, guys, um, when enemies hit you with the BS, you know, how Neo is, Neo is crazy. You get hit out of nowhere and you're pretty much dead, you will still live because this sword alone thanks to the set part of it the second literally like the first set bonus of this sword gives you life regen so that's why i'm using it but my main main weapon is weathered bone twig and again i have similar stats similar special effects as supposed with the swift hog so i don't really need to explain much about it you know exactly what i'm talking about element attack bonus life drain active skill break pretty much the same thing and as for my ranged weapons, I have Warrior of the West Bow, and again, I have Life Drain, Bow Damage, and all these other things. You know, you guys may know better than me about, you know, ranged weapons, because I'm not really sure which ones are the best in the game, but I know that this one works for me because of the set that I'm using, so it works for me. So if it works for me, it could work for you too. It just depends how you play, you know, your style. What do you like the most? I like bows, and I like guns, like rifles, so yeah. Neo is about you, yourself, your character, your style. However you like to play the game, that's how you should play. I'm not doing this build video for you guys to copy exactly how I play or anything like that, but for you guys to have an idea of what you should be going for if you wanna, you know, be fast and strong at the same time. Do you get what I'm saying? Anyway, movement whilst aiming. If you guys don't know what I, what this is good for, is when you're aiming at your enemy and um, they shoot at you, you can actually move as if you're walking in the game, which means it's pretty fast, because when you're aiming, normally you're pretty slow um, movement-wise, you're really restricted, but this allows you to move really fast. And then bow speed up is how quickly you get your bow ready to, sh to fire it, okay? And then bullseye bonus, I always have that, plus 22% for when I hit them with the headshot. I regain some head um, <laughs> some head back god dang it <laughs> I regain some health back so yeah also make sure you remodel this to your highest stat um, in the blacksmith so just go ahead to the blacksmith and then go down to remodel you should you should unlock this on your new game plus I think if I'm not wrong or you should have it in the beginning of the game I don't know guys for sure but I know that you can remodel it and then set it to be either specialization one, two, and three, whichever one gives you the most amount of ta attack power, then just remodel it, remodel it to that, and you should be happy because you get more attack power. 
Now, the reason why I'm using this bow specifically is because of the set bonus. The set bonus gives me Tiger Sprint plus 20% damage. And Tiger Sprint is like one of the best moves, if not the best move for the, the blades, the, the katana itself, like just the one-handed sword, okay? Um, it allows you to cancel it mid-animation. If you didn't know, now you know. You can hold down the animation and then swap weapons. Um, basically, Tiger Sprint gives you super armor. If you guys don't know what su super armor is, it allows you to power through anything an enemy dishes at you. I mean, literally anything. They can't stop you. Once you start running, you have super armor. Nothing can stop you until you stop the animation. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's pretty OP. You can add um, attack bonus on this on this uh, skill specifically with this set because you get 20% and then on, on the skill itself so if you go down to skill customization on your blades on your one handed sword and then go down to tiger sprint if you just include attack bonus according to skill or heart whichever one is your highest stat you get a massive amount of damage and let me just show you how much damage I'm dishing okay so now you may be thinking well 1495 that's nothing what you don't understand is this move, you can pull it out of nowhere. You know how John Cena, I mean, Randy Orton RKO people out of nowhere? Well, this is the move. This is Randy Orton's move. You can literally put Tiger Sprint and input it in a combo out of nowhere, mid anything. Any animation whatsoever, you can just input it, bam. You slam 1,495 damage on your opponent, just like that, out of nowhere, with a little skill like that. It's insane. It's it's literally a no-brainer. You have to get this. If you have Warrior of the West bow and you're using the sword, you must include this on your build no matter what. And then all you gotta do is include the Warrior of the West gauntlet because it's so light. Um, it's the lightest piece of um, the gear. Like instead of using the uh, what do you call it, the robes for its chest armor, make sure you use the gloves or shoes or head piece. You know or the the, the headpiece you do not want to use the you know the what do you call it the chest piece because it's too heavy you don't want to be heavy that's why I'm literally at a threshold of 30% uh, equipment weight it's because of these gauntlets but the set bonus is worth it it is worth it I love Tiger Sprint and I use it all the time therefore it works for me again use what works for you you don't have to you can include the flying cattle set and just have that but for me, it's another bonus. Right now I have like nine set bonuses, so it kind of works out. Anyway, moving on guys. And then right here we have the gun, the rifle that I use, and it's Saikaziata Garasu set. And again, I have sort of like the same or the similar stuff that I have on my bow. So bow speed up, again, rifle speed up, life drain by bullseye, the same thing I have on my bow. And the bonus for this set it's technically just a bullseye because I only have the gun, nothing else. I don't need anything else for this set. Um, since it doesn't work with my playstyle, I just took the gun itself. Therefore, um, I'm only using the rifle. And the bonus that I get is just bullseye. Every time you hit a headshot, you pretty much get like 30% of your health back. I mean, it's a bonus, so keep it. Again, you could just go by this or you can just make your own and spice it up a little bit to your liking. Moving on. All right, so beginning with my helm piece. So right here I have the flame cattle's mask. So how it goes, by the way, that's refashioned. That's why it looks like that. That's the, uh, you know that boss that looks like Goku? Uh, the guy who spits fire and he's drunk and then he attacks you. That's his, his um, what do you call it? That's his, uh, his mask. So yeah, anyway, um, right here I have attack power. And if you want attack power, your attack power on your you know basic stats on your character to be really high you're gonna have to you must have attack as an inheritable in your gear otherwise you'll never have it but the reason why i am so fast my, the reason why my character is literally like the flash every time i i fight or engage in a battle is because of running speed so since i have running speed on every single gear set that i have well the gear piece that i have on my equipment um my character gets a total 10% boost of um, dash speed. And then I also have the guardian speed, that the, the, the eagle, that gives you like, I think 10% dash speed as well, in terms of like movement. So that's overall 20%. But I think from what I've seen on my stats, it says it's 24%. So um, yeah, it's crazy how fast my character is, especially when you absorb a Rita and then you get like, 
god knows tiger speed sprint type of level um dash speed it's crazy you get really fast so you're just gonna have to go ahead and add sprint or running speed to every single gear piece that you have and then that's pretty much it your character is gonna be super fast i like being fast in games i don't really care about like the damage or the defense <laughs> the reason why i don't care about defense or not being like getting one shot at in the game is because i just need to get good as a player if i am really good at the at the game then i won't get hit right that's how i see it i won't have to worry about defense if i don't get hit there you go there's your answer um and then i have ninjutsu power since i have ninjutsu i mean i use ninjutsu a lot i'm more of a ninjutsu user than an omni but that's how it is my character is pretty much like a ninja swordsman if you know what i mean and then i have key bonus according to Amrita gauge so depending on how much Amrita you have on your character so like you know when you transform so if you have that at maximum um, as soon as you can in the beginning of the game then you'll probably like hardly ever run out of key if you manage it properly I suck at managing key by the way so do not go by me um, <laughs> um, you'll never run out of key but I, I like being aggressive and being aggressive sometimes gets me killed <laughs> so um, I need to just manage key somebody commented yo GBG I love the combo video but you really need to learn how to manage key and he's right I am gonna be improving my key management so therefore guys make sure you have anything like this in your build for the rest of the five gear sets and you're pretty much done okay and then I have tenacity damage over time which means when you're being burned to death <laughs> by bosses attack or anything like that you will not die from the fire that you know from burning effect you won't, you won't die your health will not reach zero and you will not die and then i have damage taken when i'm elemental damage taken when i'm guarding which means when i'm guarding if i take a hit from like lightning fire or anything like that they'll it'll reduce the damage by 33 percent that's a lot 33 percent in one gear piece is a lot that overall any elemental damage i get whether it's poison lightning fire anything guys i will reduce that by 33 percent just like that but you gotta be blocking if you do not block he will take full damage by it i don't have any kind of resistance on any like element whatsoever i just have elemental damage taken whilst garden i just need to make sure i always pay attention to when people are about to use their element elemental attacks and just guard or dodge out though you know what I'm gonna say. So if you manage to do that, then you'll be okay, guys. Moving on, I'll just show you really quickly how every single other piece of my set is like, and you guys can get an idea of what I went for. And then you can just copy that, or you can literally just make it, you know, spice it up <laughs> to your own liking. And then we can go move on to the accessories and then talk about a little bit about the ninjutsu. And that's it. All jokes aside, guys, the only way you'll ever be able to get this kind of build is by clearing the game in New Game Plus because you will need to get Yasukani. Yasukani, you can get it um, in one of these videos that I've seen on YouTube. There's there's guides on how to get it in these specific spots, like certain enemies and certain mobs drop it. I'm not sure about the new update whether they took that away, but it's it's on you. You can try it, but there's a way to get it guaranteed. It's by doing New Game Plus and completing Neo and defeating the last boss. So you can just literally just do all the main missions, forget the side quests. I know that certain missions will allow, main missions will have to require you to like complete certain side quests, but just complete the main missions, get to the last boss, kill him, and then you should get Yasukani Magatama guaranteed drop. And basically what it does, it decreases the set requirements. So that means you can wear one piece of each set or any gear that has a set bonus and you'll have two equipped thanks to the Yasukani. As soon as you remove the Yasukani, you will need the full requirements. So basically, do not, like it is the best accessory in the game. So you only need one, the effects do not stack. So as I said in the in the, in the image when I, when I read it, as an information, it said that the effects don't stack. So I'm, I'm going by what the game says. It says that it does not stack, so all you need is one. And then what I did for my build is I've added damage over time. So whenever I'm doing electrocution damage or fire damage, my enemies will die a lot. Like they will die. I have 20% damage over time because I have it on my first um, 
accessory and then I have it on my second too. And I have shock accumulation on both of them, which means I give you like two hits with my blade and you'll pretty much electrocute it. Um, I have over like 35% electrocution um, shock accumulation. I say electrocution a lot, I'm not sure why, but it's crazy. Like I give you like a few hits and you're pretty much um, uh, shocked. And then if I hit you with my ninjutsu, with my lightning ninjutsu, and thanks to me being able to find a ninjutsu cancel, which means I can do combos with the ninjutsu mid, mid attack. Like I could be doing a square square triangle for God, wind, God of Wind and hit you with a, with a lightning feather thing, you know, like the, the ninjutsu, I don't know what it's called, it doesn't matter. Um, you can get hit by the ninjutsu mid combo and then you're pretty much shocked damage. I know it's easy to dodge, but you can't dodge multiple ones. I can do two ninjutsus at the same time. And if I hit you with any of them, you're either on fire or you're shocked. Now you can choose which one you're gonna get. <laughs> either you're shocked or you're on fire burning. Bruh, just watch the tutorials. You'll understand exactly what I mean. Anyway, guys, this is it. That's it. This is the end of the video. I have blabbed enough, long enough about this. Now I'm gonna show you a full run of the last boss. Feel free to quit now because I'm done. This is it, guys. I'm done. I'm done talking. The build is basically that. And then the ninjutsus, you know, I use the shuriken, I use the fire and the, ele and the electric ninjutsu, and then I use the bomb. And all right, so what you're gonna need to do right now is go ahead and farm Kasha. You know, the Hot Wheel girl, uh, the one with two wheels and she dashes at you in flames and stuff. So you're gonna need to kill her and get her soul core because she gives you maximum amount of speed every single time you absorb a Marita. So that's her. That's the secret of this build. You need to get her. Literally, as you're fighting and you absorb a Marita, you pretty much get super speed. <laughs> literally and it lasts for about 15 to 10, 10 to 15 seconds and so onwards and then just copy the what you see on the screen guys for your second um garden spirit what you're gonna need to do is get the goku guy as i said earlier um the guy who sets everything on flames um it's, it's towards the end of the game anyway so yeah you're gonna need to farm him get his soul core and equip it because when you're in the midst of combat what you're gonna need to do is swap to your second garden and when you're when you're using a second garden, you're gonna get defense. Because you're lightweighted, you don't wanna be getting heavy hits on your character. You will die pretty fast. So what I did is I make sure that when I'm absorbing Umbrita, I then get defense as well as speed when I'm in front of my enemy. That's it, guys. That's the secret to this build. You can be tanky, lightweight, and you can pretty much wreck them. Because you're faster than them, you recover keep faster than them, you can keep pressure a lot more than they can do. Therefore, you're the beast. So go ahead, enjoy the rest of the video, and um, yeah, take care guys, and thank you for watching my video. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button if you haven't already, and if you're new, and if you dislike the video, then do it, bro. <laughs> it just lets me know that I need to improve and do better, okay? So no hard feelings. Guys, thank you so much. This is JBG. Peace out, man, and I hope you guys staying safe. Bye.
この先で間違いない。
All right, guys, that's all we have time for today. But let's stay connected by following me on Instagram and on Twitter. Also, if you enjoyed the content, make sure to hit that like subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Take care.